Hi, my name is Josiah Bancroft, and I'm the author of Sinlin Ascends. Uh, Sinlin Ascends is about the um, greatest uh, structure the world's ever known. Uh, to this tower, a small town headmaster comes with his wife on their honeymoon. Uh, no sooner does he arrive than he loses her in the crowd, and he must search for her through the tower. Each level of the tower is a different ringdom. Each ringdom is a different culture, a different world, uh, each with its own customs, its own uh, uh, perils and dangers, and he has to navigate these perils as he searches for his wife. Uh, the first fantasy novel that I remember reading that had a real impact on uh, me as a writer, uh, a reader, as a kid, was The Hobbit. Um, my parents had it on a vinyl, and I listened to it first uh, be read. And then when I was old enough to have the patience and diligence to sit down and read, I sat down and uh, just devoured it. I loved, I loved every moment of it. I loved that sense of adventure. I loved that sense of peril, uh, the, the creativity of the, the world, the, the, the magic, and all the different kinds of uh, mythical characters and myth mythical creatures that show up. So the authors that inspired me the most, especially early on, would be C.S. Lewis, uh, Tolkien, and Bradbury. I read uh, everything I could get up my hands on of those authors. Um, especially, like, uh, very early on I remember reading um, Something Wicked This Way Comes by uh, Bradbury and uh, the combination of horror and uh, the fantastic uh, I just found to be very entertaining. Um, and he soon became very influential on how I write uh, today. Um, C.S. Lewis taught me a lot about not just characterizations and how to create compelling characters, but the intoxicating experience of being transported to another world. Um, and that's something that I began to emulate almost immediately. Uh, when I finished reading The Hobbit and uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and Something Wicked This Way Comes, I decided right then that I had to start writing uh, novels. When I was very young, I really wanted to be a truck driver. I thought that that was the coolest job in the world. There's nothing quite like being in control of a giant machine. I think that, that if I couldn't be a truck driver, the next best thing is going to be an author. Uh, so I started writing um, books, like I said, very young. Um, it's something I never quit. And so all throughout grade school and high school, I was writing short stories, poetry, uh, trying to figure out what my genre would be. Uh, in high school, I mostly wrote science fiction short stories, um, which were all dreadful and very significant uh, in, their, in their content. Uh, the character who is most like me is uh, it has to be Thomas Sinlin. We are both generally uncomfortable in our skin, have backgrounds in teaching. Uh, we are both a little bit uh, too smart for our own good. Uh, we're both tall. Sinlin is somebody I understand because he is somebody who finds the world to be both fascinating and filled with many things that he wants to know, but also at the same time a little terrifying. And that's something I can really relate to. I, I love adventure, I love new experiences, and I would like to experience them from the comfort of my home. My favorite character to write is Finn Gall. He is a fun character because he is sardonic and quick-witted. Uh, he is disenchanted with the tower, but he is, he is still able to make a very good living off of it. And so he, he is somebody who is proven to be very clever and it's fun to write clever characters. Uh, at the same time, he is a family man, so he has his own sense of scruples, his own morals, which are particular to him uh, and maybe not treasured by everyone else. The inspiration from the Ringdoms come from the books that have been important to me, the books that I've read that have made a mark on me. So uh, Kafka, his uh, book, uh, The Trial, and uh, Camus, The Plague. Italo Calvino wrote a book called Invisible Cities, which was instrumental in the genesis of the, the tower. Uh, if you haven't read it, uh, Invisible Cities is a imaginary travelogue, a diary of impossible places that, that can never exist. Each ringdom is in some way a gate to limit the access of the people who flock to the tower from the, the rest of the country. So the lower the ringdom is, the more open it is to the country and the more often it's plagued by crime and poverty and suffering. Probably my favorite ringdom would be the Baths. The Baths is this fabulous destination that has all these hot steam uh, baths, the spa, this lovely uh, shoreline. And as pretty as it is, uh, which is a fascinating part, it's also a very dangerous place, especially for outsiders, because it's so lulling, it's so lovely, it's so peaceful, it's so comforting. People end up uh, kind of forgetting themselves. They spend all their money and they get stuck. The thing that I find most interesting about the book 
is that the tower embodies so much of, of, of the world. It's so diverse, it's so strange, it's so changing, uh, it's so um, insular in some ways, but also uh, uh, very uh, expansive. I wanted to write a world that I would never get bored of. Um, and as a writer, I find it very easy to get bored. Um, so my favorite part of writing a series is discovering the new levels, the new ringdoms of the tower, and finding out what they're about.